How's it guys? Welcome to the Wilderness Channel. This particular video is about how to make an Ottomani compass. Um, basically an Ottomani compass is a simple instrument that allows you to find the cardinal direction of the compass using the shadow cast by the sun. It was used by the Ottomani um, soldiers during the Ottoman, Ottoman Empire rule. It's based on the concept of the shadow stick method which is then used to make it but goes one step further in that it allows the direction of the true north, true north to be quickly found by simply rotating the compass until the shadow cast by the gnome touches the east-west line. I'll show you how to do that later. This video shows you how to make this compass easily with simple hand tools, a piece of wood, a screw or nail and some string. On this slide you'll see what you will need, what materials basically you need. Firstly, you need a length of wooden plank, about 10 millimeters thick and about 100 millimeters wide, um, and a small wood hand saw, a ruler or tape measure, some lengths of string, um, I've used SpectraCord for this purpose, a thin nail or screw, a hammer or screwdriver to drive the nail or screw through the plank, a fine marking pen or pencil, a magnetic compass to check your accuracy um, once you've actually set up the Ottomani compass. Right, let's get started. Okay, all you need is to have all your equipment, um, the raw materials, in other words, a piece of wood, um, various cutting instruments and measuring instruments, and of course, a willing helper, which will always help as far as getting the job done. Okay, so the first thing you do is uh, take your plank and mark off uh, the dimensions that you want to cut um, for the project. First of all, cut 150 millimeters or mark 150 millimeters length and um, and then of course lines to cut across the plank which is 10 millimeter, uh, 100 millimeters wide. Um, if you look at the inset photograph uh, you'll see then that once you've cut the plank you're going to also cut the two corners at the top end of the plank as, as illustrated. Okay at this stage you take the plank um, you have the corners cut off at the top uh, you'll cut notches into those top corner ends and also a notch in the middle of the board on the lower end. Um, using a thin gauge screw and a screwdriver, place the screw in the middle of the board so it can be used as a gnome on. So you basically screw the screw through the board. You could use a nail for this purpose, you'd have to knock that through, um, but obviously it's got to be as straight up as possible. Okay, once you've cut the notches into the board and you've put in the gnome on, which is uh, basically what's going to cast the shadow for this, for this project, um, you need to insert strings into the notches and tie the ends so that the board hangs on a level when suspended from the strings. So you can have three strings of roughly equal length and you're going to tie them together so that the board hangs level when you hold it by those strings. Okay. Having prepared the board now with the strings attached, um, you're now ready to start uh, making the gnome one, uh, rather the Ottomani compass. So um, you start off by marking off the tip of the shadow uh, as cast by the gnome on until there are enough dots to make a shallow curve. This shallow curve is a rough east-west line. You can actually see um, the shadow of the stick being cast in the left-hand picture. The right-hand picture, it's actually in the shade, so you're not going to be seeing, seeing any shadow. But uh, an east-west line will form, and then you can draw a line through this with a ruler. Once you've actually uh, created a whole lot of dots by tracking the sun using the shadow stick method on the gnomon. Uh, you'll have to then draw a line through uh, the dots, a rough line. Remember it's a shallow curve, so a roughly straight line through them. Um, this will be your east-west line. Um, and then draw a line perpendicular to the east-west line, which will be your north-south line. The Ottomani compass is now ready to use. Okay, so the way you use this Ottomani compass is to suspend the compass by the string so that it is hanging completely level. Now rotate the compass, uh, the Ottomani compass, until the shadow of the gnomon touches the east-west line. You can touch anywhere on the line and it'll be orientated, okay? Below um, in the diagram you can see uh, the shadow is not yet touching the east-west line, so it still needs to be orientated. And consequently the magnetic compass arrow is also not boxed incorrectly for um, the particular declination it's at. So um, once we've rotated or orientated the gnomon properly, uh, the Osmani compass properly, we'll be able to get an accurate compass reading as well. 
Okay, in this diagram you can see the shadow of the glow on has actually touched the line and the Ottomano compass is now orientated to accurately indicate the direction of true north. Notice that the magnetic compass, which is placed on top of it, um, is adjusted for declination and is, as, is pointing in the exact same direction as due north on the Ottomani compass, thereby confirming its accuracy. So that's it. That's the Ottomani compass. It's quite a simple um, construction. And based on the shadow stick method, which I've uh, delved into on one of my previous videos, and um, it's a good way to reorientate in an area. But remember too that this has to be done um, on a regular basis throughout the year.